I mean, it's getting to the point where InfoWars can't even be my priority. My family has to be. That's how real this is, folks. And it's very saddening to me. It hurts because I know it's on the other side. We're trying to block the gate. It's on fire. The enemy's coming over the top. The average person's in a trance stumbling around going, where's the new world order as the Pope announces it and as societies break down everywhere and his borders are open and there's just burning and pillaging all over Europe and major highways shut down in France and Germany with just hordes of thousands robbing everyone and civil emergencies announced. And the governments are like, bring more in even faster. Arrest anyone that criticizes it. And people are like, Where's the depression? It's like all over the news. Sell everything you've got. Royal Bank of Scotland. Elites moving into armored redoubts. And I'm like, we're still here in America that, that is above water, but it's rising. And I'm getting to the point with like, what am I trying to wake zombies up for? You know, it's just like they're just walking around sucking their thumbs or sitting on their thumbs. And I, I don't take pleasure in going, look at those idiots. Look at that moron. Look at that dumb out down there. Give me a little East Texas saying. You don't say down there. Look at that. Look at that idiot down there. There's nothing funny about it, though. There's no enjoyment about it. It's like if some crazy guy at a park, I was talking to a cop once, this happened to in Dallas, is on PCP. And then they've already beat up five or six people. They're trying to kill somebody. you got to shoot them. There's no pleasure in shooting a loon on PCP. And my pleasure is not even the good feeling you stopped a criminal. You just stopped a nut. They didn't even know what they were doing. You can't help but feel bad, even though you just saved somebody. And that's what it's like dealing with this public that just goes, ha, ha, you're a conspiracy theorist. I learned that word. I'm real smart. And you're like, no, you're not. You just want to make me feel dumb, make yourself feel so superior. I've actually heard that. I'm like, no, I don't want to feel superior to you. What, you want to feel better than people? I don't want to feel like I'm better than other people. Quite frankly, I think I'm pretty stupid. But then I look at people like you and I go, my God, I'm... I'm one of the most informed. I'm, I'm one of the better people. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Is our species really that good? And people revel in their ignorance. They revel in it as the evil is just intensifying by the day. And every institution is being basically overthrown. And, and huge corruption is being set up in its place. And used to, I used to be mad at the basic institutions not realizing there were globalists in them, using them to discredit them while they prepared new institutions. I got more sophisticated in the last seven, eight years. So I get why people hate the state or hate the system. But you got to understand, that's only one facade of the enemy. Behind it is what we're dealing with. They'd love it if we went and had some civil war and burned down our local cities. They'd love that. <laughs> They'd love it. they love it when Black Lives Matter goes and, you know, shoots some cop in the back of the head. Total idiocy. But these are epic times. That's, I'm just saying, it's on. I shouldn't even have to prove anything else, okay? I mean, it's just in your face. They've got bad will. They're coming after us. They want to shut off our resources and make us dependent, not so they can re-engineer us and make us better. That always turns into a nightmare because I deserve my free will, so I'm not turning it over to you. The globalists admit, oh, no, they just want to get control to kind of phase humans out as we know it and in an orderly cultural culling. World government's here. And the collapse of the world system by design incrementally is here. We're now in it. And it gets a lot worse the deeper we go. So do I even sit here and argue with people about global government or argue with it, argue that it's totalitarian? I mean, what do I do? That's a question for listeners I'd like to ask.